To activate eSIM in your S24 Ultra, if you have not set up the phone yet, you're going to head over to this screen here, connect to a mobile network, and then skip 30 seconds forward into the video. If your phone is set up, you see the home screen here, then let's start by opening up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to locate connections. I want you to then locate the SIM manager. And you should see here, add eSIM. And after this loading screen is finished, we're going to tap the plus to add an eSIM. The options you see on this screen are the same as if you did not set up your phone. So the first one is transfer SIM from another device. This only works if you have a Samsung Galaxy and the Samsung Galaxy needs to be on One UI 5.1 or above. So if you go to this transfer screen, you would get your old Samsung you then leave your old Samsung next to your new S24 Ultra. And if you had an eSIM, there would be a prompt to transfer it over. If you want to transfer your eSIM by connecting to your service provider directly, you have this transfer through service provider option. And this is country limited, so it's not available in the UK. It is available in the US and you'd select your service provider, you'd log in, and you'd be able to download your eSIM here. If this phone is on a contract, then you're going to see this one, search for eSIMs, tap this, and there should be an eSIM already available if you bought your phone through a carrier. And on this connect to mobile network screen. This is the screen if you haven't set up your phone yet. That option is, does the same thing, but it's called search for mobile plans instead. And finally, we have scan QR code. So if you have a QR code that looks like this for eSIM, maybe it's in your email, or you have a physical card with the QR code, tap the scan QR code option and then scan the QR code. And if it's a valid eSIM, then it will add the SIM into your Samsung S24 Ultra.